So here we have our muffler that almost completely fell off. It was held by one last bracket. I'm glad that I brought the tools with me, to be honest. Are you gonna do what now? Please tell me I have a cutting wheel, and that would be embarrassing. Now I've got Brianna going to get some cutting wheels. I don't know why, but I packed my grinder and didn't pack a single cutting wheel. I'm gonna cut that down temporarily, then we've got like a short jaunt up to a brewery for the night, so we'll make it through there. And then Monday, we're gonna take it to a muffler shop and get them to fix this up permanently. Probably gonna do some reconfiguring because where the muffler is is really bad. It actually adds a lot of heat to the under storage or to this area here, which is really bad. So it'll be a good opportunity for us to uh, uh, go ahead and redo the muffler. So I'm also gonna take this opportunity to go ahead and check everything, check my oil levels, make sure that everything's looking good. Since I'll be waiting on her for about 10 minutes. There's a low is uh, 1.2 miles away, thankfully. You can see that these straps had actually rusted all the way through. I actually got quite a bit of rust, so guys, make sure that you're not buying buses with rust, because this is just a taste of what you're gonna run into. Freaking hate this. These straps completely rusted all the way through. That's a huge bummer, but this is real life of traveling on the road. And a bus that you didn't have, you know, I didn't have much experience when we picked this first bus. So unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. Okay. Keep this, because it goes to the engine. got the muffler disattached, which is not optimal. Obviously, we're not gonna be passing any emissions very soon. But with this off, I think we'll be able to get the bus somewhere where they can take care of it. I don't know if we're gonna take care of that tonight. We might just go ahead and push on to our stay because after tonight, we'll be in the place we're gonna be for the next couple of weeks. So we're just gonna go to a harvest host tonight, and then we'll move on another like 30 minutes and then get this problem sorted out. You can see it was already kind of a problem. We had an exhaust leak right here. So we're gonna get this all fixed up. Back in the shop again, which uh, still working out the kinks. All right, so here's our current solution to deal with this muffler. Just got it on a bunch of blankets, a uh, bunch of blankets that we don't really use. Uh, it's not like greasy or anything like that. It's just really uh, kind of dusty. So we're just gonna go ahead and travel with it like this and then get to our first destination, find a muffler shop, and then get it fixed, hopefully tomorrow. We made it to the hip camp we were talking about. We thought we were gonna have the problem fixed a while ago. It's actually been weeks since our last update, and our muffler is not fixed yet. So we're actually gonna take it up to a local place. By local, it was like an hour away. It's gonna be a lot of work to ship this thing out, get it there, wait the whole day for it to be fixed, and then bring it back, get it all set up again. Uh, Levi, the property owner here, he actually knows, well, a couple people. He's been here for like 30 years, so he knows quite a few people that could help us. And so we actually have a mobile welder coming. It's supposed to be today, tomorrow, this weekend, sometime. So he's gonna come and help us out. So I went and got the parts to show you what I got. So this is everything that I should need to get the muffler fixed. So it's just the tip. I've got two 18 inch, three inch pipes because they didn't have one three foot. It's really what I wanted was one three foot pipe. So this is gonna have to work. They just join in, got a little like coupler on the end and then we'll just tack weld those together. I've got a couple of hangers here and then some brackets. So these brackets go on the pipes and then get caught up with the hangers. So that should be everything that I need. All right, so here's the part of the pipe I'm keeping. Again, this goes to the intake manifold, and then we have our three inch pipe that kind of runs down. So we'll be sliding this on the end once that's cut down, and then throwing that tip on the very end, and that will be the entire assembly. Super easy, 
super straight. Really, this would have been cheap to do if we would have went to a muffler shop before we arrived here, but we were just really excited and ready to get here. We thought we could take care of it later. Um, then obviously, we're gonna be welding this all together, clamping our brackets on, and then hanging it. But since I'm gonna be waiting on the welder to get back to me, looks like I have nothing to do except for relax. Not a bad spot to do it either. Ah! Dude, these cicadas are wild. Their shells are everywhere. Oh, there goes our team. All right, hey guys, good morning. It is currently 7.40. Um, I got 20 minutes to move this bus before it gets here. What was that? Uh, I've already done a lot of the work last night, like I said, so the last thing I need to do is just disconnect the electrical water and pull the bus forward, which means I pull it off of the blocks and stuff that it's on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and get in a position for him to work on it. Archie, leave him. Leave him. Hey, Arch, Arch, get out of there. All right, we're on a wild goose chase right now for one of these V-band clamps. Uh, this is a three inch and it like completely snapped off. So Ryan is the welder working on it for me and he found that the clamp completely like severed whenever the exhaust fell off. So I thought I had all the parts I needed. Unfortunately, these are not easy to come by. We've stopped by an advanced auto parts so far and no luck there. They're not too helpful either. <laughs> but uh, that's all right, we're going to a Napa Auto Parts. I think Napa is always a great place to find like weird stuff like this. So we're gonna go check that out, see how it goes. All right guys, so Napa Auto Parts came to the rescue. We got our new little V-band clamp. We're gonna get this on and try to get this muffler installed. I'll tighten this clamp up. Yeah, see what it's going on okay? Yeah, yeah. It's... Sweet. Oh, I should chill, oh my gosh. We're having a moment right here. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll just all lay on the ground, sure. Where's the cat at? Get her involved. There she is. Keep doing this, Archie, no! No, he's gonna do it. Okay, hey, hey, out here, out here, come on. Good boy, thank you. You should be involved with everything, don't you? Archie, if you knew how to weld, I'd let you do it, I swear. You got a headrest. <laughs> Thank you. Golly. Oh, that's a Good, got our bracket welded in. Get our pipe all set up temporarily without a muffler, right? Temporarily. <laughs> all right guys, we are all done. You got us fixed up. Like I said, we deleted the muffler. He just came in. Actually, he was kind of my valet for the day because Bree has the car. So thanks again, Ryan, for uh, running me around town. Yeah, yeah. No did a great job. So if you guys are in the Virginia area, really like around Winchester, go check him out. Here's all the details right there. Really awesome guy to work with, and he'll take good care of you. All 
All right, guys, we're here. We're in our place where we belong again. The muffler is on, everything is good. Thanks again so much to Ryan Hartley. Did an amazing job, did it on like last minute notice, and we're back in business. We have a an exhaust, I almost said muffler, but we don't have a muffler. So we have an exhaust, we're good to go, and we will see you in the next video. You guys already know what to do. If you like this video, you can let me know by commenting down below or giving me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so I can keep doing this thing, and I will see you guys in our next video. I think I'm ready to roll. I love you. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.